Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, Comic Quarter 210. Um, it's been a long fucking time since I made a video, and um, I've still been here just, you know, watching a lot of auction videos, actually. Like, you know, Doro and Chino. Um, man, like, I don't buy anything. I just, like, watch and see what the books they sell go for. But also, they're all chill back guys. I, like, I really enjoy what they have to sell and show. And, um, of course, we got the whole pandemic going on, but slowly it seems to be getting somewhat better. Um, but anyways, um, these books, I got a big stack, but I got these a while back, like, I think in August, and I got them from two cons. Uh, one was Big Tex in San Antonio in August, and the other one was a smaller one, a smaller con, like, in this little, little warehouse, um, wasn't really much I mean there was some good books but like as sellers there was like only four sellers everything else was toy based but um yeah let's just get started and uh let's start with the Iron Man the Invincible Iron Man number 12 this is the first appearance of the controller sorry about the glare Invincible Iron Man number 11. Oof. I can't really remember. It's been so long since I got it. I know I got a good price for all the books I'm going to show you, but I think I only paid two bucks for this one. Uh, the guy I got this from, I've known him, known him for a couple years at a flea market. He owns a little spot. Invincible Iron Man number 115. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first Romita Jr. take on Iron Man. I might be wrong, but I'm sure someone would tell me. Yeah, the guy I got these from, like, most of these Iron Mans I'm going to show you, I got it from the same guy. Um, I think I only paid, like, 10, yeah, I want to say 10 bucks for all these. 132 Iron Man. Hulk crossover. Awesome fucking cover. And then this one, this one was from this other guy, and I only got this Iron Man from just because I liked the cover. Uh, Iron Man 161 with Moon Knight. That was a pretty cool cover there. I only paid two bucks for this. And finally, I got the X-Men Origins Deadpool cover, the one shot. I've been wanting this one for a long while. Um, this was from that little haul I talked about, the second one. Uh, another guy I'm somewhat familiar with. I've seen him for a couple years. Oh, man, the glare's so bad on this one. Wait, I think I don't like Hold on. There we go. That's a little better. But yeah, um, I always see this one easily go for like 80, most of the time over 100. The guy, um, he already knew me by now. He thought I was a pretty cool guy, you know, because I, I chit-chat with him. Um, he only sold me that for 30 bucks, so fuck it, right? Then I got another one from him. Got this nice Canadian Comic Con Expo cover of Tomb Raider. Uh, this I got this for my wife because she wanted it. She's not big into comics, but she liked the cover, so I got it. Just because she wanted it. Do you poo poo? Uh, this is the first I'd have to say I ever purchased of the poo uh, series, and this is like what? What would you call it? Like a homage or homage cover for The Walking Dead. Pretty cool though. Then I got this. This is a sick cover. Witchblade. Uh, this is the Where's the World Chicago uh, issue. I. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, I think they only sold a thousand, but yeah, it's, it tells you right there it's a thousand. A thousand copies. This issue 
Is she 100? Yeah. It's a very nice sketch cover. Uh, I would pay two bucks for this one. I just liked it. It's just like a pinup. Well, it tells you there. It's a pinup book. It's just covers. I mean, um, art. That's all it is. It's not a comic, but like an actual comic you read. It's just pictures. But I fucking like the cover, so I just got it. And then this one. All-Star Western number 11. This is the second appearance of Jonah Hex. I think in my last video, I showed how I got the first. And the guy I got this from, he had the first as well. Raw copy, because the one I got, it's uh, slab. And he, for the raw copy, and like, I know I already have a first appearance. And I regret turning it down, too. He, he was going to sell me a... Um, the raw copy of the first the number number 10 all star western for like 40 bucks but i turned it out i was like ah, i got it but now it's one of those things where you think about it and you're like fuck i should have just picked it even though it'd be raw but anyways yeah uh second appearance of jonah hex who i still feel is a very under undervalued character jonah hex is fucking awesome thank you i'm in the cowboys and indians and stuff like that and then let's get some awesome Spider-Man 136. Um, this was at the big text con. This is one seller who I had to like fight with this guy. Like not literally fight, but he wanted this one for uh, 70 bucks. 70 bucks. And I've been wanting it for a Spider-Man run because I'm a huge Green Goblin fan. And I know it's a bit it's a bit on the pricier of this book, but I was able, able, luckily, because I waited to the very end, the very, very end, and he was like, you know what, I'll sell it to you for 15 So I got 15 and he wasn't budging at first. Like, I literally had to keep coming around, like, I guess, like a stalker, like, hey, you sure, you sure? He's like, no, I'm not going to go low. But then the close, when the doors are getting ready to close and stuff, he just finally, like, you know what, 15 And I was like, yeah, thanks. Then 138 for the Spider-Man run. These are in great shape too. Then 144, the Gwen Stacy clone. And 159, uh, Doc Octopus and Hammerhead. Crossover. I'm not big on Hammerhead, but Doctor Doctor Octopus is a very popular, one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. So. And then one eighty. This is Harry Harry Osborn as a Green Goblin. I said I love my Green Goblin, so I got it. Then 198, the stereo cover, very fucking nice too. I was never really big on Mysterio, I just always liked the costume. I don't know why. And this is Zatanna. Zatanna, the number one, this is a variant. Um, I only paid $3 for this. And then I went to another seller at the con he had the same book same book you know about the same grade this is a nice grade there's like literally no spine ticks or anything um guy the other guy wanted 30 bucks and the where i got this for two or three dollars literally uh from a guy I, i've known that i've seen at cons before he always gives me good deals like a quarter of what the price really is for some of the books i get from him then I got this uh, Transformers 37, right? No, 27, sorry. Uh, Dinobots, love the Dinobots. I thought this was the first appearance of the Dinobots, but it's not. I was wrong. But still, I mean, it's a fucking cool cover. Transformers. And then X-Men number 52. 
from another seller, a young guy about my age, uh, Corpus Christi, but he was down here in uh, San Antonio, 52. Only paid uh, five bucks for this. It has some, like a barely a water stain right here, barely, uh, for the X-Men run. And then again, I got this one, five bucks, 60. Uh, first pair of Soren, Soron. If you see right up there, there's a stamp. That's cool. I said, glad to just have it in my run. Besides that stamp, it's pretty, well, it has ticks, but five bucks. Man, this was from the small con for my X Men run. 98. Fucking sick cover with Sentinel. Another one, 99. Another sick fucking cover. Um, so I got more X Men, but like these X Men I'm gonna show you, I only paid like three to five bucks for each issue. And this guy at the con just had them there, and nobody, nobody was getting. It. I was like, are you crazy? These books for me are always hard to find in the wild, and when I do come across them, they're like 30 to, 30 to like almost 100 bucks just on some. But um, 102, only paid four bucks for this. Fucking sick. Juggernaut and Colossus. And then I got this one, 105. Only paid four bucks for this too. And everywhere I've come across, I don't know why I'm not like huge, huge on X Men. I just love these old X Men runs. Um, every time I see this book, it's always over forty bucks. And I mean, it's not in the greatest shape. You see up here, and there is some ticks. But man, like the cover is so fucking nice. It's not faded or anything. I said four bucks. Oh, five. It's been a while. Then uh, one seventeen. Paid five bucks because this is the first appearance of uh, this guy. I just don't remember who, and I've seen people post it too. It's just I can't remember, but yeah. One oh six. Another nice cover. Like I said, this dude was only selling them for like four to five bucks. And like they're not in shit condition. Like, I mean, yeah, they might have a little spine ticks here and there, but these books, man, I see these books go easily over ten dollars higher. It's fucking crazy. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, dude, like what the fuck? And then um Again, from this was from that one uh, guy my age. These two Venom books, the Dark Origins, dude. I have the graphic novel for this story. And it's a good story if you're into Venom. But man, the look at this fucking cover, man. It's fucking sick. Look at that. It's fucking nice, man. Uh, this is number four, the Dark Origin run. Sick. Both of these he sold them to me for four bucks. Because it was the end, the very end. Everything was closing, and I was just like, you know what, let me see if I could get some books. So, cheap, cheap. So, four bucks for both of these together. Here's number five. Oh, it's a good cover, but I mean, number four, man. Number four is fucking sick, dude. And then I finally could say I got a Tomb of Dracula number one. Um,. I only paid 40 bucks for this. Um, the guy had it for 100. I talked him down to 40, and plus he knows me. So, I could finally say I got Tomb of Dracula. I'm not like the best grader, especially when it comes to number, but I'd say this is fine. Fine plus. Of course, uh, Neil Adams cover. Art. Never go wrong with Neil Adams. Okay. So these two right here, I'll tell you now, they're in fucking shit condition. And I think I got a good price, even though they're in bad, horrible condition. But you you tell me. So I got 
101. A Spider-Man made Spider-Man 101. And you could already see, like, look at the, look at the sides. It's pretty beat up. First appearance of Morbius, you know, uh, there's a movie coming out soon. It looks cool. Somewhat looks cool. Uh, I only paid eight bucks for this, so I was like, you know what? Maybe down the line I'll upgrade it. I uh, never really cared about Morbius that much. I just liked the cover, and um, like I said, maybe down the line I'll upgrade, but eight bucks. So I'm cool with that. And then this one, this one, okay, very end. I talked, this was from that young guy that was my age from Corpus Christi. Um, Amazing Spider Man number 13. If you can see right here, it's barely, like you can see right here. Um, oh, sorry, I pointed at the wrong spot. See the damage to the spine? And I'm not going to lie, this book is barely the cover. It's all together, this, this comic. It's all put together, nothing's missing. It's just the spine and the staples, the cover's barely, barely hanging on. Uh, I forgot which one, but one uh, one of the staples, it's not even, the cover's not even on no more. It's barely on one of them, like barely. So I need to like throw it to CGC or whatever and just leave it there. Like I said, it's a low grade. All I paid for this was 40 bucks. And I think, I think that's pretty fucking good, especially because, remember, I got this way a while back and I think the movie for Spider-Man had just come out just come out or about to come out so this book was up there like you know because the movie was already here and people were the prices was going up but 40 bucks I'm fucking happy with that and I mean it's first appearance of Mysterio come on but I think I did pretty good and of course I get my old Silver Ace uh, Batman and Joker cover so 145 and then 163 and then I got this one 126 Thor the mighty Thor the switch over from um, journey into mystery to the actual Thor title um, I had one, but it was really, really beat up. It had like a huge green stamp like in the front. And I, I think I sold it for like five. I gave it to some guy I knew for like five bucks. And this is uh, somewhat of an upgrade. You can see it's kind of faded on the side. But I only paid four bucks for this. Uh, the guy was just like selling everything he had stupid cheap. So I was able to pull this out, and I didn't think he was going to sell it to me real cheap, but he did, so he was an older guy, he's a nice guy, and he didn't care either, he was just like, uh, I'm older already, so it's cool. And then I got Batman 251, Joker appearance, I believe the first Silver Age appearance, and this is signed by Neil Adams, just finally could say I had this book if it wanted it for a while and this is the first time I ever bought a slab signature book it was just because the guy I know who had it he gave me a good price so I was like you know what fuck it right first signature slab I ever bought and then uh, eh, I got this but now this is one of those books I mean of course it's Fantastic Four 48 Galactus and uh, Silver Surfer her appearance 3.5 but I'm not going to say I regret buying this, but I don't know. Like, eh. I have it now. I mean, I guess that's all that matters, but I don't know. I kind of feel like I could have waited a bit more. I kind of rushed to get it because they had it. Um, but that's about it. And that's the whole haul. And this is a pretty long video, about 20 minutes. Um, that's checking out what I got. I hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, like I said, if you haven't checked out, like, those auction videos, you should totally check them out. Uh, Thoro and um, Chino. Um, their, their fucking videos are awesome. Uh, see what they sell and stuff. Like, And no, I'm not being told to say this. It's just from my point of view, from what I've seen on YouTube, it's really cool shit. You don't have to buy just watch. But anyways, I should check out what I got. And I'll come back with a video sometime. Thank you.